I always call this ballet a ride through the haunted mansion at Disneyland. It's scary, it's spooky, but good for families as well. What a wonderful way to celebrate Halloween. Immediately following Dracula, I'm putting on a program that really celebrates our founder, Willem Christensen, and his vision of dance. I have his version of the great classic, The Firebird, to the music of Igor Stravinsky, along with a brand new work by company demi-soloist Joshua Whitehead, newly retired and creating a name for himself as a choreographer. And finally, closing the program, the unabashed joy and patriotism of George Balanchine's Stars and Stripes. We here at Ballet West are so proud to be the home of Willem Christensen's The Nutcracker. The first full-length production of this ever created in America, the longest running production of The Nutcracker in the United States and perhaps even the world. Swan Lake is perhaps one of the most recognized ballets in the world. An amazing and romantic score by Tchaikovsky. It tells the story of a sad prince, a beautiful maiden who can only turn human by the light of the moon, and an evil wizard who has enchanted her. Our spring program, Love and War, we're starting with William Forsyth's Blake Works One. We become one of only three companies in the United States to be given the rights to do this work. The revival of Red Angels that follows is something that has been requested so often by our public. To the music of an electric violin, only two people in the entire world play that electric violin, and one of them is coming to perform it live as we revive Red Angels. And finally, the revival of The Green Table, considered one of the greatest pieces of dance theater of all time. This 1932 masterpiece is haunting, it's powerful, it's dramatic, and it's moving all at once. This is really a not-to-be-missed program. This year, we are bringing back Beauty and the Beast, as choreographed by our principal rehearsal director, Pamela Robinson Harris and Peggy Dolkis. It's a wonderful way for families to come together to learn about ballet and have a great evening at the same time. This year is a particularly exciting one. I've entitled it Asian Voices, and we are celebrating Asian choreographers, Asian companies, and companies run by Asian directors. This entire 60th anniversary season has been designed to celebrate the history and the legacy of Ballet West, whether it's brand new works or a revival of a great classic, really. We always aim to bring something for everyone. Don't miss it.